Hey guys, I hope your day is going great. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing Misha All Around Save Block Soft Finish Sun Milk in SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. So this is a 70 ml sunscreen that retails for $22 on the brand's website. It's currently on sale there for $17.40, but I'll put links in the description box where you can get it for under $10. So now the first thing I'm going to do is to read out the product description or claims so that we can both understand what this sunscreen promises us. Then I'll do a hand swatch face application, then conclude the video. So the sunscreen claims to leave one with an invisible finish. It is non-sticky, non-greasy, no white cast, and it's the best sunscreen to use on their makeup. So let's see how this applies on the back of my palm. First, I'm going to shake the sunscreen. I think this is enough. Um, this has a tad bit of thin, so it's not white. It's almost pinkish. I'm getting a floral scent just by, you know, pumping out what I have here. This blended in well, when I mean well, like it went into my skin nicely. So this is what the back of my palm looks like. To me, there's a slight cast. I don't know how visible it is to you guys, but there is a slight cast. So here is where I have the sunscreen and here is where I have no sunscreen. Can you guys notice anything? Let me know in the comment section. So now it's time for face application. My spoon is right here. Links to purchase this will also be in the description. And this is for my face and my neck. And this is what I have. So it's pretty much a runny sunscreen. So this just stained what I'm wearing. It drops stained it. So be careful, this will stay in your white. So it's time to blend this in. Let me get my mirror, because it's just right here. I'm trying so hard to blend this into my hairline. It is a tad bit of cast. Let me apply one more spoon on my neck so we see how this looks as a whole. So I am done blending this on my face and neck and to be honest, there is an obvious cast and I believe you guys can see it as well. Um, it's not alarming, right? But it's definitely visible on my skin. I could definitely wear this to do exercise in the house and maybe outside, maybe go for a run, max. But aside that, I don't think I'll be able to wear this sunscreen. If you are like darker than I am, it's a complete no. Don't spend your money and buy this. If you are like fairer than I am, I think also no, don't spend your money and buy this. But if you're white, like if you're white, you can definitely pick this up. I see it, you know, blending into your skin really well. And um, you 
may find this to be your favorite sunscreen. I have previously used um, the Essence Sun Milk, the one with the green um, cover, and it's really, really nice. I did enjoy it while I had it. I'm so sorry that I did not review it on camera. I actually do have a bunch of sunscreens that I have never reviewed here, and I promise the ones I have left, I'm going to actually start pushing out content for it. Yeah, I'm just gonna come forward so you guys can see my face clearer. So the consistency and texture of this sunscreen. So when you pump this into your palm, it's thick yet runny. So it's not um, runny like water, but it's runny, if that makes sense. And um, once you're done applying this to your skin or blending in, you get a powdery finish in your palm. Just like when you apply talc or talc powder to your palm. Yeah, you get that powdery finish so it's best described to be a velvety texture and finish that you get on your skin so what type of sunscreen is this this is a hybrid sunscreen so it basically contains both chemical and physical sunscreen filters if you don't know what these are um, I'll just leave a link right up here or here where I spoke about chemical physical and hybrid sunscreens just so that you can have like an in-depth knowledge of what they are so the sunscreen filters are zinc oxide, octinosate, octisalate, tinosorb S, and juvenile A+. It contains other ingredients like glycerin, tocopherol, aloe vera, ETC. Does this sunscreen contain fragrance? Absolutely. Like as you open up the sunscreen and take a sniff, you get that sweet rose scent. And um, it's not overpowering, but it's there. Just so you know, um, I do like my products to have um, smell or fragrance. I don't like it to smell like um, medicine, if that makes sense. So I'm fine with the smell. So if you do not like products that have fragrance or contain fragrance, this may not be for you. But if you're patient enough to just finish blending and not smell anything, then you can pick, you can pick this up. Um, Overall, I do not like the sunscreen because of the fact that it leaves me with a cast. I've come to an acceptance that sunscreens that are, that contain zinc oxide or titanium dioxide is not for me. It's not for me. The only sunscreen that I have tried out that has, I think, zinc or titanium dioxide that partially worked for me or I can say worked for me is the one by Tiam. It was really, a really nice, you know, hybrid sunscreen and I really did enjoy it while I had it, but for this one, it's a no. I have also previously reviewed sunscreens from this brand, so make sure to check it out. It's their yeah, all around safe block line, but a different one entirely. It's a three in one video, so tap the link right up here so you guys can see. I know that it's been recently reformulated. I'm not going to be trying it out. I don't even want to compare how the old one and the new one is because I don't have the old one anymore. So. I won't be able to like have a good comparison if that makes sense. So guys, with that being said, we've come to the end of this video. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, like it, share it, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful week.